Could it be that Damon was right? And if Rhaenys had burned them all when she had the chance, Lucerys would still be alive? In the first episode of season two, Damon expresses his annoyance to Rhaenys, knowing that she had the chance to wipe out the Greens. And if she had, Lucerys would still be with them. This confrontation could affect Rhaenys mentally. For despite everything, he was innocent. At the end of episode 9 of House of the Dragon, when Rhaenys pins her gaze on the high tower, Malays roars, and all of us fans were unblinking on the edge of our seats, waiting to hear Dracarys. But have you ever wondered what the implications of saying Dracarys would have been at the time? In this video, we will be analyzing an internet theory about the Targaryen family, which talks about what would have happened if the queen who never was burned the high tower. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before we continue with this video, I invite you to participate in our new House of the Dragon giveaway, in which we are offering a Funko Pop of one of the characters from the House of the Dragon. To participate, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and comment on who is your favorite character from House of the Dragon and why the winner will be announced on June 30th. Before analyzing the impact of this theory on the history of House of the Dragon, we must begin by understanding if Rhaenys had reason to burn them all in front of the people and during the coronation. According to the order of succession of King Jaehaerys, Rhaenys was the candidate to occupy the Iron Throne. However, the court did not agree that a woman should occupy the highest power in Westeros. So Viserys is the one who ends up occupying the Iron Throne. This is how Rhaenys receives the nickname of the Queen that never was. Over time, she overcame this frustration, but she continually had differences with Corlys, who always fought for her right to the throne and continually sought opportunities to get closer to power, as happened at the time when they offer Lena as a wife for Viserys. And eventually, they managed to consolidate the marriage of Rhaenyra with Laenor. Rhaenys had made peace with the idea that a woman would never rule in Westeros, and even told Rhaenyra that men would rather see the realm put to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. However, what happened to Rhaenyra was treason, and Rhaenys, while she may have accepted that she was not chosen to reign, she knew that Rhaenyra was robbed of what was rightfully hers. Politically speaking, Rhaenyra was not properly stripped of the throne. Most likely you think that these are sufficient grounds to finish off the traitors. However, Rhaenys also had an important reason why she decided not to finish them all off. Upon arriving at Dragonstone, Daemon questions her why she didn't finish them off when she could have. Daemon is a hot-headed man and an excellent warrior. He knew she had them in her clutches, and that was an opportunity Daemon would not have wasted. So he doubted Rhaenys' loyalty, and questioned her, how could she have gotten out of there unscathed after facing them? At that moment, Rhaenys answers him as follows. A war is likely to be fought over this treachery to be sure, but that war is not mine to begin. I only rushed this morning to you out of loyalty to my husband and my house. From what we could see, Damon, despite being an excellent military strategist, we saw that in episode one of the second season, he again complains to her for not having finished them. But what would the story have been like if Rhaenys had decided to order Malay to burn them all? First, we must be clear that the most important outcome of the Dance of the Dragons is that the Targaryens lose all their dragons. In episode 1 of House of the Dragon, Viserys asks Rhaenyra, When you look at the dragons, what do you see? She answers him as follows, Everyone says that we Targaryens are closer to gods than to men, but they say that because of our dragons, without them, we're just like everyone else. After the Dance of the Dragons, even though they continued in power for another 150 years, they never had the same power again. Just as Rey Nera said, the Targaryens ended up being just like everyone else. But here's where the theory gets interesting. Korra user Hussein shared a very interesting theory about how the dance and future events of Game of Thrones would have changed if Rhaenys had finished off everyone during the coronation. The theory goes as follows, and I quote, if Rhaenys had killed all the Greens at the time of Aegon's coronation, the Targaryens would still have their dragons. By the time of Game of Thrones, they would still be closer to the gods than to men. 
Also, since they have dragons, Aegon V wouldn't need to experiment to hatch dragon eggs, and that would have avoided the tragedy at Summerhall. This means that the Targaryen family would be larger and so more powerful with many dragon riders. So the events of Game of Thrones would not take place. If Robert Baratheon and Jon Arryn really rebelled because of the hidden relationship between Rhaegar and Lyanna, then the Battle of the Trident would have been similar to the Field of Fire. The Targaryens would continue to rule the Seven Kingdoms, with no one to challenge their power at all. However, the website today.com brings to light another perspective. The article states the following, and I quote, There is another consequential factor in Rhaenys' decision. If the queen that never was had killed Aegon and the others on the dais, she could also have been considered a kingslayer. Remember Jaime Lannister? As a member of the King's Guard, he murdered King Aerys II, known as the Mad King, whose madness and cruelty ruled him out of control. Jaime, however, was forever known as the Kingslayer. On the other hand, if Rhaenys had said Dracarys to her dragon melee, by finishing them all in seconds, she would have avoided Lucera's death. This means that, even if the result of having burned the green would have been negative, the Dance of the Dragons would never have been unleashed, because it would not have been a war with so much hatred and rancor, which was what really caused such macabre revenge that we are witnessing in the second season. Finally, acting would have come at immense personal cost to Rhaenys, who has already lost her children, Lena and Laenor, and possibly her wounded husband as well. Even if she had burned them, would this have guaranteed peace? Thousands of people in King's Landing would have witnessed the crime, and many more common folk would have perished as well. That's not exactly a recipe for winning the hearts and minds of the people, for establishing a stable regime. However, the repercussions of Rhaenys' scene as she exits the dragon pit will still loom large in the terrible dance of the dragons. The queen who never was will be a fierce warrior during the first great battles of House of the Dragon. Of course, we have to see if they keep their story close to the story of the books because we know that in the series, they usually change details that do not occur the same way in the books. But, will Daemon be able to forgive Rhaenys for not finishing with the Greens when she had the chance? Will Rhaenys come to regret her decision of not finishing them off? But tell me, what do you think of all this? What other events after the Dance of the Dragons would have been affected if Rhaenys burned them all? Do you think she made the best decision? What would you have done instead? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on. The Oasis Geek.